So you thought you'd done everything in Skyrim, did you? Well, to mark Skyrim's thousand year anniversary, I bring you this secret Skyrim bosses video. And to celebrate this event, we have the official, unofficial Skyrim inspired t-shirt design that balances the right amount of fan pride while being undetectable by the Mugglebloods as a gaming t-shirt. Having this magical garment in your inventory will improve your chances of getting laid with the Poontang in your nearest tavern, and disprove to the townsfolk once and for all that you read the lusty Argonian maid every night to increase your one-handed skill. Cue the music. To start this first boss interaction, we need to do nothing more than to travel to Blackreach. Now, if your memory of Blackreach's location is a bit hazer, don't worry, we can get access from one of three locations, or even more if you've already been there before. So you'll need to head over to Mizinchaleft, Alfthand or Ralbathar, and then proceed down into the bowels of the earth to Blackreach. It's while tiptoeing through the mushrooms and the fog, you'll find this giant sun-like orb above the debate hall and the hall of rumination. If instead of bathing in its yellow glow, you use the dragon shout unrelenting force on it, you'll hear the orb ring and our first secret Skyrim boss will appear, a dragon named Vulthoyo. For our second secret Skyrim boss, we'll need the Dragonborn DLC and to head over to the glacial cave. Found wedged in the wall at the back of this cave is Karstag Skull, an item we'll need so take it and let's travel on. It's only a short trip over to Castle Karstag Ruins and we're looking for Karstag's throne. Placing his skull on his throne will summon Karstag into deadly combat. The cool reward of this battle is you'll receive the power to summon Karstag to fight by your side. Use it wisely though as you can only do this up to three times. The third boss in our trilogy requires you to have the Dawnguard DLC and for us to travel to the Soul Cairn. Now accessing this boss is a little more difficult than the other two because we need to collect at least three Reaper Gem fragments. Luckily these fragments are found within the Soul Cairn itself, in chests located under large floating crystals that drain your health. Once you've scooped up three of these gems, head over to the Reaper's Lair. Placing these three gems on the altar in this room will summon the Reaper into battle with you and you can finally feel smug having fought three secret Scarring bosses some people missed altogether. Now I've been intentionally vague on the lore of these characters and locations because they deserve their own videos so look out for them in the future. And if you'd like a bit more of a guide to the locations of these secret Skyrim bosses then check the page below here on roller.co.uk.